Now on today's video, we're showing, and I'm going to try to document a very rare BMW that belongs to Vlad. This bike is really a collector bike. I think there's less than 200 in the country. And it's a bike, of course, it's one of his pride and joys. It's got a lot of carbon fiber parts, unique carbon fiber parts. Some of them not available anymore. Some of them at, do need a little bit of help. There's been a little bit of damage to the front fender and to a few other parts, I think, to some of the seat parts, but I'm not sure. Because Vlad is going to, uh, in the near future, be bringing some parts of this bike over for a f refreshing of the carbon fiber. And I thought I'd make a separate video of that in the near future. Stay tuned if that interests you. Now, a bike, a rare collector bike like this, when you can refresh the parts rather than replace them, you can do it at a fraction of the cost. And actually, in the case of the carbon fiber parts, we're going to try to make them even better than a stock part would be. Now, I do remember from this is a video from a few years ago. I do remember some of the, the little small damages and scratches and things on this bike. And I know we can correct it and we can bring it back to better than a brand new bike in a very short amount of time, hopefully. And again, this is the passion for restoring motorcycles. I don't even know what year this is, but I do remember looking at it and looking at the carbon fiber and thinking, mm, if you ever need to replace that, mm, yeah, we can do that here. Anyway, we're going to do that in the near future. I don't know when Vlad's going to be available. But again, a lot of these parts are unique. You just can't go to eBay and buy that fairing part, for instance, or that tail section, or some of these parts, when you can restore them or refinish them, and make them better than new, boy, does that change your enjoyment and your passion for motorcycling. And in this case, I like to have all these pictures on my computer and the little video that's going to follow. It documents up what I have to look at it and see how something looked or how was it on the original bike. Having all this video and these still pictures on my computer is one of the assets I have when I'm going to do that restoration work for Vlad. Yeah. He left a half hour before me and I oh, got here first. <laughs> How did that happen, Vlad? Uh, oh my God. Hey guys. How are you? Man? Oh, you got the beamer up. Oh, nice. Nice. You can't get the Perry's. They got a show or something going on over there. There's a Model T show. Where? Uh, by the Bear Mountain Bridge. They got it. It's blocked off. You can't go through. I, I just it there. It was like oh, they're done then. I was there about 10 minutes ago. And nah, it was you just couldn't get, blocked off. Oh, you couldn't get through there. Are these any guys we should make famous or not? Are just ordinary guys? Do they, they buy your coat? Do they buy your coffee in the morning? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Hey, this is nice. I haven't seen this in a while. How many of these are there in the country? What is it? How many of these are in the country? About 200. 200? Oh, it's a great bike. Yeah, I haven't seen it since last year. It came off an R1. Yeah. Your, your buddy had the twin, but he didn't have any uh, accessories, you know. Yeah. He's cheap. He only spent 25,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks nice, Vlad. Thank you. I like to ride with guys that have clean bikes. You know, they don't once in a I while put it clean. Go to the bikini car wash. Yeah, that's what we went last time. <laughs> yes, yes, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we went last time. Oh my God. You guys have no sense of humor. Yeah, I like this. What's that? Wind, uh, carbon by Windy. We could make one carbon by Vlad. I make any one you want. <laughs> they need well, touch that. It's still red hot. Touch the t the titanium no, no, and see how hot it's it is. Okay. <laughs> I like to see you guys burn. <laughs> you get a hot dog. Oh, what a day. What a beautiful day this is turning out to be. So this is the bike, and I wanted to show and share this. So when the job actually does get here and get into the shop, you can kind of see what the final product is looking like. And again, what the, the advantage of taking all these pictures and being able to share them on the computer, being able to share them with Vlad, in fact, a lot of times we're doing something, I want to see how's that going to look on a real bike like that red stripe or like the, those decals down the bottom of the fairing or something else. But being able to, to go back and look at a bike when it was either brand new or next to new, it's something I've done. I've done it on all of my Yamahas. 
I always like to have the pictures on there of when I started the bike as an example the green bike because I have two of them and any of the evil twin projects I like to have a lot of pictures a lot of video the MT-09 which is a whole different bike than the day I bought it with all the custom parts custom carbon parts windshield the two-stroke bikes no matter what every bike that in my collection is different than Vlad's mine are older bikes he likes newer bikes but we're always based on the fact we have a passion for motorcycling Thanks so much for watching.